Welcome to ArtBase. In this video, I'm going to show you around the accounting reports for ArtBase. Okay, to get to accounting reports, you go to the inventory and you go to the inventory menu at the top of the screen. You go to reports and choose accounting reports. Accounting reports essentially are reports based on sales or based on payables. And um, there's lots of different kinds of reports you can generate in here. At the top of the screen, you'll see that you can go back to the invoices file directly from here or to the inventory file. You'll also see that you can enter a date range for your report. And as we learned in the finding section, uh, you can enter date ranges with three dots. So that's how you do a range. You can also enter a range open-ended. So that would be, you know, from this date forward. Or um, on the other side, you can do dot, 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 up to that date. Okay. You can enter uh, a report header. So you'll see where it says my report at the top of these sample reports I'm going to generate. You can choose in many of these reports to print with foreign currency amounts as well. And so you would just check that off. For any of these reports that have asterisks next to them, you can uh, print it with both your primary currency and your foreign currency as well. You can sort your reports automatically by invoice number, by date, uh, meaning payable date or sale date, client, and the amount. Uh, you can enter invoice type. So this is essentially uh, general invoices, non-art invoices, which are invoices that are based on anything besides art or things from your inventory, uh, just a share invoice or just credit memos. You can also omit non-art invoices and credit memos in here. So that would basically pull credit memos or non-art invoices out of your report. Okay, so let's go through your options here. Uh, you have a receivables reports, payables reports, and some additional reports. So the receivables report is money that's owed to you based on invoices you've sent out but you haven't collected payments yet. So let's have a look at those. You can do a detail report that will include partial payments. And when you click on the print button, this will then take you to a searching screen for each of these reports so that you can uh, basically select all the options that you might want on your report. So if you wanted to do the report based on just one client name, by one salesperson, by one art fair, by one consultant who is involved in the sale, uh, specify whether the invoice is paid or not, the amount range, and whether it's taxable or not. In the receivables reports, you can also select uh, how long it's been overdue, less than 30 days, more than 30, 60, or 90 days. When we click continue, it will take us to the print screen where you can see your report. So this particular report is my receivables report. It's going to print the range, the date range that I put on the report automatically. It's going to put my header at the top of the report. It's also going to give me a total of the number of invoices on this report. And you can print it and PDF, uh, create a PDF here uh, just by clicking on those. So you'll see on this detail report, it's going to print the partial payments that they've made and then give you the balance due. And of course, you get the totals at the bottom. This will also show you the number of days past due so far. Okay, uh, the summary report is essentially the same report without a breakdown of the, pay of the payments. And so you get sort of a more compact report to get the same totals. Uh, the summary report with items actually uh, prints the same kind of report, only it does give you a breakdown of the items that were on each invoice. Get those there. Okay, the payables reports are monies that you owe other people. And essentially that's usually because you've been paid for invoices and now you need to pay money out to either your consigners or your artists or your partners on those pieces. So you can come in here and choose the detail report or the summary report. And again, you've got your selections in here and you can do it for just one specific artist um, or an amount range. And you can click continue. So these are 
monies that I owe other people. And you can see that in the detail report, I can see payments that I've made to those other people. So often partial payments to your payables are done when you're uh, dealing with uh, secondary market items and the values are very large. If, um, if you don't find that you really ever do partial payments to your artists or to your consigners, you can generate the summary report. And that doesn't, you know, waste room with those, uh, those partial payments and it gives you the same kind of totals. You'll see that it's going to give you a subtotal based on each artist or each consigner or each partner. And so you'll get a total for each of those and then a grand total at the bottom. Some more reports we have in here um, are, for example, sales reports by invoice and by, art, by item. So if we do a sales report by invoice, this is a really good way to get a report based on lots of different kinds of information. For example, if I want to see how much I sold at a specific art fair, I could come in here and choose the art fair and then it would just do my report based on that. I can also do it based on a salesperson to get you know, a total for commissions on your salespeople. Or maybe a specific, uh, maybe you want to know how much you sold to that client last year. Um, you can do that. Or even amount range. So I want to see everything we sold that was over $10,000 last year. So this is a sales report. It's a good standard report that just has a breakdown of balance due, sales tax, and invoice total with, of course, grand totals at the bottom. The sales report by item is organized by items rather than invoices, but you have all the same options in here for searching. So you can do what were the, all the things that I sold at that art fair instead of organized by invoice. This would give you by item. So you have all the items broken down here. And again, you have the totals. And um, you can also do what's called a gross profit report. Um, and this does not allow you to do it based on non-art invoices. A gross profit is really profit on your specific items from your inventory. So again, you've got all those options to search on. And this is an example of gross profit report where you have a percentage ownership listed here. So what your percentage on the piece is, how much it's sold for is listed here. The amount due to either your artist or your consigner or the cost that you paid on the piece if you own it. Additional costs, so other money that you've spent on this piece. And the cost of goods sold is essentially going to be your additional cost plus the money that you've paid uh, the people that you owe. And then you get a final gross profit, the amount and the percentage profit that you made on that sale. You can do either of these two reports, a sales report by item and the gross profit report and subtotal them by artist. So let's have a look at what that looks like. Again, each artist is subtotaled. And it will even show you the number of items in each group. And it gives you the number of items up here too. Okay, as a cash receipts report allows you to um, look at all of the, the payments that you've received in a certain period. So again, all these reports I've been generating are based on the date range that I entered. So if I do my cash receipts, it's all the payments I've received in this month. So I've received a couple of payments and this is the amount that I've received. And um, you can also subtotal that by client. So with each client, you can see how, how much in receipts you've, you've gotten in that particular time frame. Okay, you can do your sales tax reports either by invoice date or by payment date. So however you pay your sales tax, you can generate um, a sales tax report.
and your sales tax report will be broken down by county or essentially by the different rates. So you'll see that there's no county entered and the New York sales tax county and it will give you totals based on your county and how much you owe. This also gives you columns for non-taxable and taxable and the total amount of sales tax. Okay, if we look over here, you can see that there are some other kinds of reports that are really bar charts and pie charts. The bar charts allows you to see, and once again, you can do all of your, your different kinds of searching in here, art fair, salesperson, amount range, things like that. So this is what a bar chart looks like. This is a nice way to see who your best seller is in sort of a quick view. And here are my best selling clients. You can see that this client is my best seller. And sales by artist. So again, in this date range, if I go to my bar charts, I can see who my best selling artist for that period was. And I can see in a pie chart the same information. Okay, that is accounting reports in ArtBase.